So polynomial functions. Polynomials are just functions like anything else. So anytime you see f of x or g of x, p of x, anything like that, you're just saying you're dealing with a function. So how we deal with them is just like we would any other function. So if I ask you to do f of 5, you simply plug in 5 into f and see what you come up with. So plugging 5 in, we end up with 5 squared minus 7 times 5 plus 2. Just remember, wherever you see an x, you plug in 5. This turns out to be 25 minus 35 plus 2. Negative 10 plus 2 is negative 8. Polynomial function, plug it in. Over here, we're going to look at a different function, g of x. g of x is a linear function, and this time we're asking for g of x minus 2. So before, we just plugged in a simple number. Wherever we saw x, we plugged in, what was it, 5? Now we're going to plug in x minus 2. Same exact idea, but little twist just because we have something else. Plugging in x minus 2, we end up with 8. And then our x just becomes x minus 2 minus 4. Okay, We can simplify this up. This just turns into 8x minus 16 minus 4. Combining like terms leaves us with 8x minus 20. So g of x minus 2 isn't a number like we had over here, but it's still our answer, just still having another x. So polynomial functions in a lot of ways behave like anything else we've seen. Just plug them in, see what comes out.